Hey guys, I'm John with Legacy Woodworking, and I'm here with Andy today, and I wanted to answer the question, well, I got an E-Series, and I want to add one of the modules. What do I do? Well, that's pretty simple. Let's start with the door building system, or the long name is the X-axis vertical clamping system. Okay. It mounts into the auxiliary bay. Okay. And Tracy asked us to make sure that everybody knew that we don't ship them without a table, but we've yes. taken the tables off so that you can see what we're doing a little bit easier. Of course. We're going to put in a vacuum pod as we go huh. along. We're going to add some things. So the tables are off, but normally you would have a base table that comes with every machine. Yeah. Okay, so this is that clamping system. To begin with, each frame on the G4 series has holes in these vertical tubes, and they're on both sides of each tube. Mm -hmm. Those holes will be tapped. You'll have to tap those. Once I've tapped the holes, then I install these brackets with a couple of quarter 21 inch screws with some flat washers. This will hold the assembly to the frame. And this plate then goes on those two brackets. If you have a four by four machine, you'd have two bays and so you'd put one in each bay. If you have a four by eight machine, you'd have four bays and you'd put four of these assemblies along the entire length of this inside of your auxiliary bay. Normally this is where the turning center is and the first question that comes to mind is that going to interfere with my turning center if it's there? And the answer is no. You can still swing 10 inches of material without interfering or bumping into your parts. All you need to do to be able to put this to work is put in your clamps. The clamps come out when you're doing turning. You don't leave them in, you put them in the toolbox. But once the clamps are out, I can put this in. In this case, I'm using a, smart, a small piece, so I'm using two. If I were putting an eight-foot piece in, I'd have one clamp on each bay. Now my part's securely attached, and I can work on it, cut along this edge, do mortises, joinery. Now one of the points of this little video is to say, well, how long did that take you? When I set mine up on my machine, it took me about an hour to get it all installed, and it took me another 30 minutes to use my laser to line everything up so that I got perfect cuts when I was running up and down with the gantry. So plan on a two hour after two hour session if you want to add this to your machine. I bought an E-Series, my needs changed, I want to add a turning center. What does that entail? Well, it's pretty simple too. So let's kind of walk through the steps closely or slowly. Okay. Okay, John, this is where we're going to talk plug and play. We did, okay. the, we did the little joining system earlier. Yep. No plugs involved. That's just mounting it to the frame. But my turning center has to be synchronized with the computer. So I have to take this cover off. I've loosened the bolts, pre-loosened them, and I'm going to take this cable out. And guess what's on the end of the cable? So that's what's on the end of the cables, two plugs, plug and play. This goes back on like this, by the way, with those cables coming through that slot. All right. Okay, we've uncrated and unboxed the, the turning center assembly and we've set it down into the frame. We have eight bolts and the eight bolts go through this assembly here and into a nut plate on the back. The, they're captive nuts so you don't have to have a wrench. On this side, the bolts come through from this side and this is the captive nut plate. So eight bolts tightened up and my, my turning center is secure and in place. Okay, John just asked me, are there holes already there? Yes, each one of these horizontal tubes is pre-drilled for the turning centers. Okay, now comes the, the plug part, John. Okay. I take the, this is the data cable. Okay. And it goes together just like that. You've got these neat little screws that have to be tightened. I'm not gonna do that. And then, this is keyed so it only goes one way and that snaps and locks in place so it can't come apart. Then all you want to do is put the cables safely away, get them out of, there's four screws that you need to put in to put the cover on, and now your machine is literally ready to go. Plug and play. Well, now that we've got the turning center installed, what comes next? Well, the next thing you have to do is you're going to have to get a hold of technical support. Mosiah will help you with this, and you're going to need a couple of fancy codes to get into the system and activate the workstation screen for turning. It'll be grayed out if you get the E-Series when you first get it, and when you want to move to turning, you'll have to activate that module within the uh, control system. Good. Well, is there a charge for contacting Mo about getting this turning center set up? 
Nope, there's no charge. Again, what we've tried to do is make sure that whether you buy the turning center with the original package or whether you need to add it as your needs change, there's no additional cost. It's just work with our team. We ship you the parts. You do a little bit of work, plug the machine, the, the turning center in, and you're done. So I got the E-Series, and I just ordered the Y-axis vertical mounting system. How do we attach this guy? Pretty simple. This comes with a base okay. already installed on the machine. So that, the place you mounted is already there, and the hardware is already installed. So you've got six captive nuts there. This is going to go with these arms through, or these, and it's going to go right up in there. I've got it mounted, put in my six bolts. Well, now what? How do I know it's perfect? Well, every one of these workstations, as you add them to the system, comes with a video on how to set it up and tune it. This can be tipped and articulated to make sure it's perfectly straight, uh -huh. perfectly level, so that everything you cut is going to be great to do that. Watch the video and Tracy will tell you exactly what tools you'll need to be able to do that. So I bought an E-Series and when I bought it, the idea was charcuterie boards, furniture, things like that. So a vacuum wasn't needed, okay. but now I'm ready to get into building cabinets. So I got this guy here and there's That's four right. of them. Yeah. So how do I put these in? One thing you'll notice about our system, it's an individual module. You have four of them. Yep. They plug into the frame. We'll show you how that's done. But they're all also individually controlled within the software. So if so, I'm doing like half a sheet, I don't need to turn on all four of them. No. The other thing that I love about this, because I built old fashioned systems, the big pump over there, and you got stuff all over the floor, and then you got big valves. Yep. This is all electronic, so it switches on and off. No plumbing required, no wrenches, no glue. Just drop it in. So let's show you how to do it. Let's do it. Okay, so once again, this is plug and play. So I've got a twist lock connector here, and I'm just gonna put that in there. Now I twist it to lock, it'll never come out, it'll never vibrate loose. And I'm just gonna slide this down in the frame. There are six bolts that I'm gonna use. These holes are already pre-tapped and ready for me to bolt in this. The last step is I put a, a gasket around this edge to seal this. Mm -hmm. And then my base table goes back on this. The base table's already pre-cut with holes so that that lets the vacuum and the airflow through this, holding my parts down. Okay, so you said that a door making system takes about two hours to put on. What about the other three? Okay, well, let's just start with the closest one, the vacuum pod. Okay. You can put these in, have them sealed and ready to go and your base table back on probably an hour to an hour and a half. I'd have an hour to hour and a half. Hour and hour and a half. Okay. And the base table is pretty good size. It's three feet wide and eight feet long. Have somebody help you lift it off. So, yeah. and then help you have somebody help you drop it straight down so you don't shift those seals. Okay. Okay. All right. So hour and a half there. The turning center installing, I would say probably by the time you position it, get in your bolts, tighten everything up, mm -hmm. is probably less than 30 minutes, maybe a half an hour. Yeah. But the tuning session is going to take a little bit more and you'll want to watch the video on how to tune and align your system for that. All right, that just leaves us with the joining system that's going to yep. mount on here. Okay. This will probably mount in 15 minutes. Yeah. Get the bolts in and get it all, you know, secured to the system. Yep. And then there's a video again that will let you tune that. But as far as the assembly, half a day, you know, to get all the, all the workstations all on. Fantastic. Doesn't look like it takes very long, and it takes my capability from just a three-axis system to everything the Maverick has to offer. If I'm looking at this and saying my budget's a little bit tight, yep. I need to start conservatively. I can buy an E-Series, yep. and I can add as my, as my business grows and evolves or my needs grow and evolve. Mm -hmm. I can add any one of those modules anytime in just a few hours, and I can let the machine go to work, make my projects, make my products, and then let the machine help me pay for the new accessories I want to put on them, the new workstations. That's awesome. Well, thank you for spending time with me today, talking about the E-Series, showing me how to put it all together. Guys, I'm really excited for this system. Andy, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, guys, and thank you, John, for the chance to brag a little bit. Yes, Talk sir. Talk to you guys later. All right, take care.